HBO Max's Looney Tunes reboot bans guns from Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. According to the series executive producer and showrunner, the new series Looney Tunes cartoons, which was launched on HBO Max, will still feature Elmer Fudd as his characteristically violent character. However, he will now carry a scythe instead of a gun, and his attacks will be restricted to using sticks of dynamite, booby traps, and dropping heavy objects on Bugs Bunny. Looney Tunes cartoons, the new series of animated shorts released exclusively on the HBO Max streaming service, will not be doing guns, says the series executive producer and showrunner. The Telegraph reports, in response to U.S. gun violence, the showrunners will not include firearms in FUD's arsenal. That is not to say that he has given up hunting Bugs Bunny, though. He just uses a scythe instead of, well, a gun. We're not doing guns, he told the New York Times, but we can do cartoony violence. TNT, the Acme stuff, all of that was kind of grandfathered in. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what a culture war against the Second Amendment looks like. Now, I know some of you are going to say, come on, call on the war. It's really not that serious. It's just a cartoon. And you know what? You would absolutely monumentally be incorrect. It is that serious. If it wasn't that serious, they wouldn't be rebooting this cartoon, nor would they be making such a deliberate choice to remove the most iconic parts of one of the most iconic characters of this cartoon series. How do you take guns away from Yosemite Sam? It's the very foundation of his character arc. That's like replacing Bugs Bunny's carrot with a vegan cheeseburger. And then you change Elmer Fudd's shotgun to a scythe? What is he, the hunting grim reaper? This reeks of an agenda. And guess what? It is. After getting backlash, one of the writers tweeted, Also, think about the context about what's going on in the world and how long ago our show started production. Late 2017, early 2018 right on the heels of a record number of mass shootings, particularly the horrific one in Las Vegas. Nobody wanted to touch guns working in the media. So in short, if you want to slice and dice someone to pieces, it's okay. If you want to blow people up, have at it. But if you want to use a gun, well, now that's just going too far. But what happened to the Second Amendment only being about hunting? High capacity magazines don't have a practical sporting purpose or hunting purpose. If you got 12 rounds, it means you've already missed the deer 11 times. AK-47 and an AR-15 is not for hunting, it's for killing. And I've never met a self-respecting deer hunter that needed an AR-15 to down a deer. You anti-gunners love to make the Second Amendment about hunting, even though it's clearly not. Yet Elmer Fudd's character hunts exclusively with the very gun anti-gunners claim is the only gun you need. And now, even that's too much. Most of the people who virtue signal like this are hypocritical, disingenuous imbeciles. This wasn't about gun violence. This was them farting in a glass and then spending the next hour taking deep whiffs of their own flatulence and telling us how great it smells. This is political. It's a way to socially condition the Second Amendment out of the minds of the next generation. However, let this be a warning to all you hunters out there who think just because you don't hunt with AR-15s, you have nothing to worry about. I'll tell you what the problem is. It's these Rambo AR-15 wielding yahoos who think they need a 100 round clip to kill a devil. It's about hunting to go out there and be a part of nature. Elmer Fudd is now your proverbial canary in a coal mine. Notwithstanding his comically atrocious gun handling, Elmer Fudd is the prototypical acceptable gun owner in the eyes of anti-gunners. He had a shotgun and he was a hunter. Now, no type of gun owner is safe because the goal from the powers that be and their useful idiots in our mainstream media is to ban guns outright. They're okay with shotguns and bolt actions in order to justify banning AR-15s. If they get that, please believe shotguns and bolt actions will be next. The biggest threat to a government is guns in the hands of the citizens. In most countries, they just force their citizens to turn them in. But America has the Second Amendment, so they have to convince us to turn our guns in. The current generation that are still alive ain't gonna do that. We grew up learning about the Second Amendment and watching Elmer Fudd with a gun. However, the next generation will grow up not even learning about the Second Amendment and will grow up watching an Elmer Fudd with a scythe. They're trying to influence the culture of the next generation to be anti-Second Amendment. Not anti-violence, but anti-Second Amendment. They need the violence to justify their authoritative existence, but they need the people defenseless to make it easier to oppress the people if they ever feel the need to. And right now, 
these useful media idiots are doing a damn good job fighting that anti-two-way culture war by doing stupid shit like this. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.